after journalist Doug Papa broke the news that LVMPD under Sheriff Kevin McMahill's inexperienced wife Kelly had been put in charge of Stephen Paddock's crime scene instead of the department's homicide squad, Doug Papa got an ominous email from Detective David Gorris, who requested they talk on the phone. A little bit further down, it said that he reached out to the, or somebody reached out, contacted the LVMPD Homicide Division, um, and inquired who was handling it. They were told that the force investigation team, do you remember if it was one of the ladies that answered, like one of the, the front secretaries, or if you spoke to a specific detective or sergeant or lieutenant? You know, sir, I, I, I can't get into specifics. I don't do that. The LVMPD didn't seem thrilled that journalist Doug Papa had exposed the obvious conflict of interest that they appeared to be trying to hide. And after the detective's unsuccessful attempt to find out where Doug Papa had gotten the information, the captain with the dead eyes of a sociopath was transferred off the Stephen Paddock investigation. I listened to the tapes from the uh, October 1st massacre and I hear one of the SWAT officers, Zebra 20, come on the radio and tell the police dispatcher that one SWAT officer did fire. For weeks, Sheriff Lombardo didn't say a word about an LVMPD officer firing gunshots in Stephen Paddock's room. Did police or security guards uh, fire any shots uh, any time during the encounter? Um during while he was discharging his weapons? Yes. We are not aware of that. An LVMPD officer fires a gun in Stephen Paddock's room and no one in the Vegas media besides yourself is covering this? Why? I don't know, okay? All I know right now is that this investigation, something appears to be amiss in there. Why are they trying to hide it? And if they're willing to hide that, what else are they hiding? What else are they lying about? And what other things are they gonna spin? For weeks, Doug Papa tried to alert local media to cover the story, but they wouldn't. So he broke the news in the Baltimore Post Examiner, and then other newspapers followed suit, forcing Joe Lombardo to admit that an LVMPD officer had fired a gun in Stephen Paddock's room. He just neglected to mention that in any of the many press conferences he'd had. Why had the sheriff waited almost a month to reveal that an LVMPD officer fired his gun in Stephen Paddock's room and only admitted this fact after being called out by journalists. The LVMPD has been sued by seven news organizations for failing to release the 911 calls and public records from the night of the Vegas mass shooting, leaving many to wonder if the department is telling the truth about what really happened.